Yeah, we're in the upper 70s right now, possibly looking at record highs. The record high is 83. We're forecasting 84 degrees. So we have winds out of the southwest. So that's going to be pumping in that warm air, all that moisture. It's breezy out there, but we're looking all at all these storms really just marching off to the west. And that's going to be moving into our region by about 8 o'clock tonight ahead of that cold front. And then once that passes, that's where we're looking at really looking at the severe storms that will impact the region. So isolated tornado possible and even looking at damaging winds and hail. Right now, we're already at 80 in Waynesburg. We're at 80 degrees in Beaver, 76 in Butler, 78 in Catanning. So we have that warmer air aloft. That's going to keep a cap on that convection through this afternoon. But the biggest thing is when that line moves in. So wind gusts picking up 25 to 35 miles an hour. Already seeing severe thunderstorm warnings into places like Michigan, well to the north crossing the Great Lakes, and even towards places in Indianapolis. So once this line passes and gets closer to the region, that's when we're we're going to start to see that severe weather risk heighten. So looking at live radar right now, it's quiet. We just have a few light rain showers north. The window is mostly about 8, 9 o'clock, lasting until about 2 a.m. So it'll be great this afternoon to get out. Yes, it'll be breezy, but we have sunshine, very, very warm temperatures. And then we hold on to the 70s around midnight. And then once 9 o'clock rolls around, once that line pushes through, that's the risk for those strong to severe storms to move through the region. So when we're talking about the risk for the region, where you're seeing the orange, that's more numerous storms that'll pop up. And then we're in the yellow here, so that's more scattered showers and storms that'll impact the region. So not everyone, but better safe than sorry. So make sure you have a plan in place for severe storms, especially overnight if the kiddos are sleeping. Again, if you do have a severe thunderstorm warning, still just stay alert because a tornado warning still could happen and make sure you go to the basement. So the tornado chance it's pretty high. We're talking about a 5% chance. Doesn't sound high, right? But where areas off to the west are under an enhanced risk, that tornado risk still carries into northwestern parts of the region. So it is still possible. Just play it safe and stay weather aware. So timing that out for you, here's that line moving through and models still catching up to another, trying to figure out exactly what time this line will move in. But it's looking again about 8, 9 o'clock tonight. The biggest threat areas north and also west. So heavier downpours expected, hail, damaging winds. And again, those straight line winds will be the biggest threat. And then things are nice and calm. So tonight, temperatures will still be mild in the mid 60s strong to severe storms are possible. That's why it's a first alert weather day. We start off at 70 and midnight temperatures fall through the day. Rain showers taper off and then sunshine returns Friday. It looks fantastic for Easter weekend. Even if you're headed to the Pirates game, temperatures mid 60s on Sunday, Monday near 70 with sunshine and low 70s on Tuesday with a few rain showers.